Hello everyone, it's me, Sleeve, short and sweet, and I am now on the other side of op. I'm in the post-op phase of this whole weight loss journey. Yay! I had my surgery back on Tuesday the 19th, which makes me nine days post-op. Sorry about that. Um, and I'm so sorry that I haven't posted in such a while and that it took me so long to post since the surgery. Um, but I have so much to tell everybody. Um, and I'm just really excited. So, nine days post-op. Um, had a little bit of a mishap. Not really a mishap, but we didn't weigh me on the day of my surgery. So, I'm kind of sketchy as to how many pounds I've lost since the actual day of surgery. But one week prior to the surgery was um, the last time that I got weighed and that was at the hospital for my pre-admissions testing and at that point I was still at my heaviest which was 218 and today I am 202.2 which means I am down 15.8 almost 16 pounds um, so I'm feeling really 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 great about that um, this is going to be a little bit of a longer post just because I have so much to tell you guys about um, you know, the couple of days before my surgery, the day of the surgery, my hospital stay, and what's been going on in the past nine days. So, let me start from the beginning. Um, my surgeon did not require that I went through any liquid diet or what have you. He just um, had me maybe four days before surgery start preparing. So, um, three days before I had to just start eating real light trying to cut out the carbs, the sugars, breads, all that stuff and the day before surgery I was on all liquids for that whole day prior to the surgery. Um, on my day of surgery I arrived at the hospital about 6.30 in the morning. My surgery was scheduled for 8. Everything you know was really really timely. I'm in New Jersey. I had my surgery done at a hospital in South Jersey and um, it was like clockwork. Like, it seemed like at almost exactly maybe quarter of eight, the whole anesthesiology team like just kind of assembled upon me and gave me a quick s shot of something that they said was going to relax me and I remember nothing after that point. Um, but the surgery went really, really smoothly, thank God. I haven't had any type of complications or anything like that. I believe my surgeon told me that my surgery took about an hour to complete, um, so it's not a really long surgery. I have six incisions, um, which maybe I'll show you at a later date. They're looking really funky right now, only nine days out from surgery. But my surgeon's really cool because he knows I'm a science teacher and I dig all this stuff. So he actually gave me pictures of my surgery and what my stomach looks like. I'm gonna show those to you, just give me one second. Okay. So here's some pictures of my stomach. I think this one's my stomach before. This is what was going on during surgery. And then this is during surgery. That's This is my new stomach. This is the old stuff that was being cut off, I think. And then here's some more. And this is what my tummy looks like now. That's how big it is. So surgery went really, really good. Um, that first night after the surgery was really really tough for me. It was in a lot of pain, just pretty much out of it. Couldn't drink anything. It was just kind of sucking on ice chips. Um, had maybe, we did have a little incident with some of the nursing staff in the hospital um, where I guess I have small veins but my IVs kept coming out and so there was a period of time, maybe about two hours that night, where I was in the hospital and I didn't, wasn't getting any fluids, I wasn't getting any pain meds, I wasn't getting anything for the nausea, and I was just really miserable. And I actually ended up like vomiting, you know, my little stomach full of blood. It was it was pretty unnerving, um, but harmless nonetheless. Um, and as soon as my night nurse came in, like she saw what was going on, thought it was horrendous, and like in two seconds flat, put in another IV. Um, but when I was in the hospital, I think I was on morphine at first, which was a little bit too much for me. Um, and was causing a lot of the nausea and vomiting that I was having. So it ended up putting me on Toradol, something like that, which ended up working really, really well for me. Um, let's see. I already said I, I didn't eat that first day, which was Tuesday. I spent one night in the hospital on Wednesday when I got up. Um, I think my surgeon was there twice. I think he was there early that morning and then he came later on in the afternoon 
Um, and he had me start trying to eat just all liquids. I had some chicken broth, some apple juice, some jello, which I hate. I hate jello, but I ate it anyway just to see what would happen. I was able to tolerate everything. Um, and then um, later on in the afternoon, maybe around 4 o'clock when the doctor came back, he, oh, and in the meantime, throughout the day, I was visited by, like, there was a pulmonologist who came in, the physical therapist came in, the dietitians came in. Um, my dad was actually in the hospital there with me, and he's a, he's a taskmaster. And so he had me doing laps around the floor, like, all day or what have you. So that actually really helped a lot. Um, and physical therapist came. She did some walking with me, had me practicing going up and down some stairs. Um, because after surgery I'm at my parents house recovering because I live alone and didn't want to be alone recovering from all this um, so and they have stairs um, so then around four o'clock on Wednesday which would be the next day doctor asked me what I want to do I said I want to go home he said no problem so he just charged me and I was out of there by about 5 30 or so the next day um, when I came home um, he sent me home with a prescription for something called Nucenta. Um, it's a it's a narcotic, it's on the same level. It's kinda, I guess, the way the doctor prescribed, like a designer type of Percocet, because I can't take Percocet. It makes me vomit violently. Um, and so he sent me home with a prescription for that, as well as Lovenox, which are these injections, kinda like when you're in the hospital, I think they give you heparin, it's a blood thinner. It's meant to try and prevent blood clots, which is a risk from any type of surgery that you have. So um, I had to have these injections every night and gave me those two prescriptions. We had a mishap at the pharmacy um, with getting it with my insurance and a whole bunch of foolishness. So that first night that I was home, I didn't have any pain meds at all. So I was absolutely miserable. Um, I tried to take an extra strength Tylenol. My stomach was not having it. That thing came right back up. It was horrible. It hurt. Um, but by the next day, which would have been Thursday, um, we got things cleared up, got the meds, took them, started feeling a little better actually, and I had um, a home care nurse that came to the house on Thursday as well. Now, not all surgeons use them, but I think a lot use the JP drain. It's this little tube connected to something that looks like a little see-through grenade. Um, I had that drain coming protruding out of my body I had it taken out yesterday so I can't show it to you unfortunately sorry um, but I had that drain in until so the home care nurse you know was helping me showing me how I have to empty it and measure the output and everything and it's really just meant to help speed up your recovery gets rid of any fluid or anything that's around your stomach on the inside there um, so I had that to take care of um, the worst of everything in terms of the pain the absolute worst is the gas I had a lot of gas because when they do the surgery, they kind of pump up your whole abdominal area with gas so they can get in there and work. Um, for me, some people don't get much gas. I had a lot of gas and it was excruciating because it kind of like traveled up to like my shoulder areas. It was so painful and nothing would get rid of it. You can't take any gas sex or anything like that. No painkillers really get rid of it. Um, and the best thing for it really is to walk. So I would kind of just do walk laps inside of our house here um, to try and get the gas moving to get it out. Um, one day my brother took me down to the beach. We live near the beach of the boardwalk. I walked for a little bit, couldn't do too much. Um, went to a park with my niece. She, you know, helped me walk for a little bit. And all in all, it probably took me about seven good days to get rid of that gas. As of yesterday, I really haven't had much gas or really any gas pain at all. Um, I had my follow-up visit with the surgeon yesterday. All was well. Everything went well. He took out the drain. Thank God. It's really uncomfortable and I'm feeling so much better even in terms of pain um, because that drain is just really, really uncomfortable. Um, and he advanced my diet. Up until yesterday, it was really only on fluids and the sugar food popsicles, um, water. Water was kind of hard for me. For whatever reason, my stomach didn't like just straight water. Um, but I found that apple juice worked really well. It's not sugar free or whatever. Some people get crazy over everything sugar free. I don't. Um, so I'd have some, maybe some watered down um, apple juice. You sip on that all day because you have to have, you know, be sip, sip, sipping all day long. Um, 
And yeah, sugar-free popsicles, or I prefer no sugar added popsicles. Briars has a really good no sugar added popsicle. It has Splenda, but it doesn't have that other sweetener, which I hate. Um, so I'd have that, and that's pretty much all I had been eating for, you know, the first five or so days. And then I called the doctor um, on Monday because I was feeling weak and stuff. Because, you know, as you're feeling better, you're getting out more and more, you're doing more. And you need more energy and so I asked him if I could start on protein shake he said fine so as of Monday I added some protein shake into my diet um, and then that really helped my bowels I had I've only had one bowel movement since surgery I don't know if that's TMI for some people sorry um, but I had that the day after I started the protein shakes and then when I went to the doctor yesterday for my follow-up he added some scrambled eggs and some yogurt to my diet which I tried both are fine um, we're joking around the house. My nephew, who makes the best scrambled eggs ever, he made me one scrambled egg. It took me about five hours to finish it. And then today I tried some Greek yogurt, which was fine. My stomach tolerated it. No problem. Um, so that's pretty much everything that I've been through in these last nine days since the surgery. Um, you know, it's not perfect. I'm still, you know, my abdomen. My abdominal area is still very sore, you know, bending over hurts a little bit, but all in all, um, I'm feeling pretty good. Not even close to 100% yet because I'm still, you know, kind of slow, not a whole lot of energy to do things yet, um, but I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I don't know. I think I can kind of see it in my face that I've lost a little bit of weight. Maybe you guys will be a better judge of that since you can see my videos, but um, yeah, I'm down 15.8 pounds. I couldn't do that in a whole year. So, feeling really good about that. Um, I promise I will do more updates, more regular updates. Tuesday next week is my two week point. So, I'm going to try and give you guys an update every week on my progress. Um, I think that's all. I have my little list here of everything that I wanted to talk to everybody about. I think that's it. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment or message me. I'd love to share with you. Um, and until next time, everybody be well. Bye-bye.